just wanting to share a little project that I'm working on here. What I have is an HP Dell 380 G5 as a FreeNAS server and currently got eight one terabyte drives in there. Um, unfortunately it's almost full and I happened to stumble across a couple of other servers that I got basically for spare parts for fans, uh, another heatsink for another CPU I've got coming, a couple of power supplies and whatnot and uh, also decided to use the cages from them to expand um, my array. Um, unfortunately this server doesn't provision for additional power for cages so what I decided to do was to get an ordinary power supply and I have managed to find all the power cables to get these wired up but it then occurred to me that if I have a problem here with these drives being powered by the server if these were all in the same extended volume if these two go down while that one is up I lose everything so what I've decided to do is to actually also power these drives from this power supply as well and that will mean that if it goes down while the OS is still up then theoretically all the data should be fine at least that's what I'm hoping for I'm, I'm double checking my research before I actually go in and confirm that that's what is going to happen but yeah that should be the plan <clears throat> Another concern, of course, was the amount of power that the hard drives are going to draw. Currently, I'm using uh, Western Digital Scorpio Blues. Can't get them out. Tough. Um, <clears throat> and uh, they seem to be quite low on the power usage. I was doing some testing before. Um, with my power meter here and at the most they were drawing just over 30 watts for all eight of them including the cage which is 0.3 watts I think that they draw so <coughs> that was copying from two machines while um, deduplication that's what I was looking for while that was on um, <coughs> at a gig speed per machine got a nick team set up so they're both going along at about 100 mega second um, and yeah wasn't going over 30 um, 30 watts for the whole time um, I'll just unplug these two cages I've also earthed the green wire from the power supply directly to the cage so that when I just turn it on it comes on. You can see initially initially when it comes on sorry about the awkward angles <clears throat> initially when it comes on oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this with just one hand. Ah, there we go. So that's for those eight drives in the cage setting it idle and the draw when we turn it on is about 42 watts so if I turn that off again I've got one of these cages filled with well not filled but has six drives in it three of them are SAS ones which tend to draw more power than SATA so if I plug these two plug this one in then we power this on we can see the initial draw is about 55 watts and then once we sort of get down to idle it's about yeah 28 which is not too bad when you consider it's a 430 watt power supply so yeah just thought uh, that may be something interesting for people to think about we'll give them ideas 
and uh, hope you enjoyed it.